Okay, in this video we're going to discuss uh, how to factor polynomials and the approach uh, will be to uh, use uh, greatest common factors, some call it called GCFs. Okay. All right, so uh, for example, let's suppose I have something like 6x squared uh, by y cubed uh, plus 12xy uh, to the 4 uh, plus uh, 24y uh, cubed. We go through each term and see, okay, what are factors uh, in each of these terms and what's the greatest factor in each of these terms? Well, notice we have a 6 in here, and there's also a 6 in 12, 2 times 6, and there's also a 6 in 24, uh, 6 by 4. Uh, there is no 12 in 6, it's because it's smaller than 12, and there's no 24, so 6 is certainly the number that is the uh, greatest common factor as far as numbers are concerned. Now we go through and we start looking at the variables. This is an x squared, this is an x, which is a power of 1, and there's no x here at all. Okay, so... There's no x in this one, okay, as a common factor. So we now look at the y. So we've got a y cubed, we have a y to the 4. Now there is a y cubed in here because we're going to write y to the 4 is equal to y cubed by y to the 1. So there is one of those, and there's a y cubed here. So clearly there's a y cubed, and what's left when we do it? The way we do it is we look at this and say, what are we multiplying by to get back to this particular term? Well, the 6 is already there. The x squared isn't, so we'll need that the y cubed is. Plus, we've got a 6 here, so we'll need a 2 times 6 to get 12. Uh, we'll need an x, and of course y cubed by y is going to be y to the 4, so that's that one. Plus, 4 sixes are 24, so we get a 4 here. And we have a y cubed already, and there's our uh, factored form for the polynomial. Right, so let's do some examples. Okay, let's factor. Okay. Uh, part A, let's say 6x squared uh, minus 18x uh, to the 4. Okay, so let's have a look. There's a 6 in here, 6 times 3, so we'll have a 6. x squared, well, there's an x squared in here, x squared by x squared, so we'll have an x squared. And we'll be left with a 1 here. Minus 3, 6 is 18, so we'll need a 3 here, and x squared by x squared is x to the 4th, and there's our factored form. Right, let's try another one. Let's suppose I have uh, 14 um, p cubed y squared uh, minus 28 uh, p squared y cubed and uh, plus 21 uh, p squared y squared. So here we go, we go through and we say, all right, we've got a 14 and a 28, that works, but it doesn't go into um, 21. However, there's a 7 in here, 7 twos, a 7 fours, a 28, and 7 three. So 7 is certainly a common factor. All right, now we have a p cubed, a p squared, and a p squared. Now, the way to do the exponents is to look for the smallest one. Okay, p cubed would be p squared by 1. This is p squared, this is p squared, so we'll have a p squared. Now we have a y squared, y cubed, y squared. So certainly a y squared here, y squared by 1, by y to the 1 as well, so y squared. Common uh, factor then will be 2p, p squared squared by p is p cubed, we have a y squared, minus 4, 7 to 28, we have a p squared, we have a y squared, so we'll need a y here, and we have a plus 3, 7 to 21, and we have a p squared and a y squared already, so there's our answer. Now let's try the next one. Uh, let's suppose we have 24 by um, a minus 1 cubed, um, say minus 16 by 
a minus 1 squared plus 6 by a minus 1. Okay, so we look for a common factor in the numbers 24, 16 and 6. There's no 6 in 16. There is a 6 here, but there's no 16 in 24. Uh, so let's have a look what else could we use. Uh, we could have a 4. No, no 4s. Uh, 2 looks like about the best we can do. So 2, there's a 2 in 24, a 2 in 16, and a 2 in 6. There's an a minus 1. And there's a cube squared and a 1. So a 1 is the smallest one. So this will now be 12 by a minus 1 squared uh, minus 8. 2 is a 16 by a minus 1 and plus 3. Okay. All right, now of course uh, what we'd want to uh, uh, to be able to do here is get this factor down as far as we can. So this will now be uh, 12 by a squared minus 2a plus 1 minus 8a plus 8 plus 3. So this will be 2 by a minus 1 by 12a squared minus 24a plus 12 minus 8a plus 11 so this will be 2 by a minus 1 and we're going to have here a 12a squared uh, minus 32a and uh, uh, plus 33 uh, sorry 23 Okay, all right, like so. All right, so uh, now that we've done that, all right, uh, we look to see if we can factor this. It doesn't look like we can, so it looks like we have this being our best factored form that we can actually get. All right, so that's how we uh, look for common factors.